We were free, but we had no place to be free. Lord, help me reach my piece of the promised land. Protect me on this journey. Marauders. Join us. We're all equals here. Nobody make sudden move. Get on down. Hurry up. Drop the rifle, oh! please. Get out! You're watching Black Tree on TV. I'd like to see you again, Letitia. How you doing? Again, Jamal. How you doing, bro? Always good. You know, this there's so many interesting things about this story. And like there's an interesting history of the Buffalo Soldiers. Like, how much did you delve into that and doing your research for your character and um all the issues that that involved? A bunch. And that was the leading reason why I did it, because um it was an opportunity to take an aspect of history and really put it into this character, but also finding out within within that that Cathay Williams is a black woman who hid in in one of these armies um, alongside men and fought alongside them and hid her identity for years. And I found that to be really intriguing that she would take those steps to protect herself. Um, and yeah, it, it really played into into Mo Washington and and I carried I carried that that bravery of Cathay Williams with me every day. Come here! Turu ai wahi pori. O ka ka nu bi o na hu. Ta! Ta ni ta bo ta ta si wo. E ka sa pona. U isha. Ta yo wa isha. Na a wa yuki no kupapa. Pita kimba pa so ki wa ipa. Mi akwa. Mi akwa i putu. Mi akwa i putu mi a. I think he means it. I think he means it now. He means it. What the hell are you doing, girl? You shoot him. Puka na pika. Hmm? You know, you look at that female led westerns. I mean, you got. True grit, true grit, the quick and the dead. I mean, but not not a lot of them, period. And then to have this one uh, led by you, um, how much, I mean, you didn't have to do a lot of horse riding in this, but how much like into the the cow, the cowboy, cowgirl life did you have to get into to just, just uh, pull off the road? Yeah, we got into it, you know, not only with, you know, costume designing and, and the other elements of actually being in the desert, um, our location, what you know, we shot on location and like our hotels and and where we were. It's like you look out, look out the window. There's horses and everything. You know, it's really immersed in the environment. But also, yeah, with the horse riding. Yep, I, I had a, a horse. His name was Rewind. Um, he he laughed at me a lot. He mocked me a lot when you know when I started training with him. He'd be like. Who's this idiot you got on me right now? She don't even know how to, you know, turn left or right. And then I started to get it. And then, you know, he was a little bit more impressed. Um, so yeah, like I, I I got an opportunity to immerse myself into into that world, which is a beautiful experience. What well, an interesting aspect is like kind of like in the, in the last act when you uh when you uh turn to to Jamie's character and said, like, you haven't even asked my name. Mm. And 
And I, I feel like that was like really powerful, like just as as this person that he was like trying to uh, have some empathy for the situation of, of the of the black uh, soldier, the, the, the black race. Uh, how often is that like, just as a woman, do you feel like people just disregard that basic integrity or just even caring what your name is? Always, even to this day, even to yeah. this yeah, it's, a, it's something that I was just talking to another interview about it, like as a society, like black women are, we're, we're, we're not placed on a, on a, on the high level of respect, you know, we're still having to earn that, you know, if you have something nice, like they're like, oh, how did you get that? What do you do? If you sit on first class as a black woman, they're like, what do you do? <laughs> It, it, you can't just exist you know you can't just be successful or um there's always a doubt about what you're able to do so I found that to be so so parallel to to Mo's experience and and to where we still are today which needs there are there are some improvements but there's so many more improvements to make You know, you should uh, dig up whoever's rotten over there. Give yourself another bodyguard, I don't know. Maybe enough room will front away, my man. Points, my man are coming. Now you'll think it's a call of a bird or the rustle of a deer. That's them coming. Well, they're gonna tear apart nature. You know, this white folk ain't coming back. You run away, they'll just hunt you down. You got nowhere to go. You and me, we're stuck together now. They left you to the wolves. The dark is coming. Put your hands on me. Don't ever put your hands on me again. Don't even tempt it. Always love talking to you, Star. And um, it was also really powerful to see you share the screen with another one of our late greats, Michael K. I mean, I feel like he gave us some Omar in this character, uh, uh, but now you you share it with Chadwick and Michael K. And uh, I'm glad that you're a part of that history and that we always get to look back and, and see a, a, a friendly, uh, lovely face along with those those great actors. Thank Bless you for your time. Bless you, Jamal. See you next time, bro.